I was born uh, on the 11th of April in uh, 1970 in Moscow into a family which has been living in Moscow for a very, very long time. My first introduction to art uh, was made by my beloved grandfather. He always said to me, oh, you art, uh, darling, is always making my day more beautiful and always bring me new things you've done. And when he saw my paintings, he didn't just take it as a present, was grateful. He took me pretty much the next day or in the next couple of days to a museum and show me something what I could aspire doing. And I think my love to realism and romanticism, I guess, uh, in, in art, it is thank him. He gave me everything what he knew and what he wanted me to know, to be strong, to be beautiful, to be kind, to be an artist. In Moscow, I lived until my 21st year. I finished in Moscow University. Politically, it was very dangerous to live in Russia and I just simply was afraid I did not see any perspective for me and for my family. We went to Germany, still not knowing what's going to happen in Russia, but we knew that we're not going to come back. We came to visit a friend in Australia, on the Sunshine Coast, and we stayed with him for a week. He says to us, so it is polite to go to my neighbors and introduce yourself. And who opens the door? There's an elderly woman who looks exactly like my grandmother. Then her husband walks in, grabs me immediately and shows me this amazing, huge studio, beautiful big room with canvases and uh, tables for sketching and says, I am an artist, this is my work. And I was absolutely enchanted. I said, oh my God, I always wanted to be an artist since I can remember myself, but it is all too late for me. I was 31 then. He said, what are you talking about? You are a child. And we kept in touch. I found out his heart was very weak. The doctors were not very optimistic about his prospects. I came with my family to live in Australia. She grabs him by hand, like her husband did, and takes me into his studio, and everything is packed. And there are a couple of boxes with my name on it. And she says to me, this is your inheritance. All his books, all his brushes, all his materials. I got a book about art and how to do it in every language I spoke. I took it all home and I had it all standing there and I had the canvas staring at me at the empty canvas so I thought it's now or never and it became very beautiful so the actual decision about becoming a professional artist came to me in 2004. That's when I started to become professional artist. So no garages, it's a gallery, it's a collection to exhibit. I started thinking how to approach the start of my career. And I decided to make a show myself, and that was in February 2006. So in my private house, my first exhibition ever. And if I sell or not sell, or what will happen, will happen. It was sold out. Look at me now, it's 2016, and it's been 10 years, and I've been what I wanted to do my whole life for 10 years. What, a, what an amazing blessing that is. So it's a big celebration for me as well to mark the 10 years of my artistic career in this year with this amazing uh, exhibition and a party, really, with the people who I really wanted to be there who I really love, respect and appreciate support of. I absolutely adore and love beauty. I will do just that. I will paint beautiful paintings. I will grow and I will change.
but it always will be very beautiful and it always will be very enjoyable, peaceful and new and interesting and vibrant and colorful. I hope to be able to see and paint the quality I appreciate myself until my last breath.